Okay, this should be um, an immediate sequel to the first one. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. Um, I was getting shot at, so. Big surprise, right? Oh, fuck it. Screw it, I'm tired of being sneaky. I am going to put going on this. Just because, I don't know, I think it looks cool. Okay. Now, here's hoping that this isn't the sequel. It, like, the first part actually fucking recorded. Because if it didn't, I'm going to be mad as hell. Then again, I mean, I'm, I'm terrible at this game, so. Okay, pop the door. As delicate as I can. With this crowbar. Yeah, there you go. Gentle like. And let the door shut behind you so you can't go back. And then we run in here and pop this motherfucker with a deal. Did I actually miss a piece of evidence? Yeah, I did. Huh. Hmm. Okay. This one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do got one. No, no. Where the hell is the door? Oh, this door. Alright, I'm fucking confused. Oh, yeah, you have to do this. Okay, forgot, my bad. It's been a while. The ghost of, um, of Jesus apparently opened this one. You do get bonus points and EXP and stuff like that for doing these like special takedowns and apparently I just walked right off the platform. Uh, stuff like that, but I'm not doing any of that because I don't give a shit. Now, watch my deagle disappear and reappear as a little pistol. Oh yeah, this will probably be a three-parter episode. There's no chance in hell of it not. He's a dirty cop, but he's a cop. Oh, if you want the M16, it's right there. Honestly, I'm just like, eh. <laughs> Let's use this one. I'll put a suppressor and like an 8 power scope on it. With canted RDS and. This one. And you don't get bonus points if you thought I was gonna do, do gold there. I love that in the previous episodes, I'm just like, yeah, I'm good. I'm just like, oh. So 
bad. I don't know if this is too loud or not. I'm I'm not a hundred percent. I'm just like I've kind of like partially zoned. Like I'm just like uh I still feel bad. But I'm not nearly as bad as I used to be. Uh I can't just go up in that way. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spoil this a little bit. You don't get bonus points if uh, if you assume that not only started the uh, corrupt one. This will definitely be a three-parter, because this next part takes about eight minutes. If I don't fuck it up immediately like I have been. So let's go get her! the next floor there. Fuck it, I don't care anymore. I'm gonna jump out of like the third floor. I've stopped caring. So whatever. Now one of these guys is a case file. It's the dude that's directly under me right here. If you need the case files, don't do what I just did. Or the, uh, the suspects. Because you can't take them in if they're dead. See, and I liked this game a lot. I thought about, like, reviewing it, but I didn't because I was like, eh. By the time I finished the storyline and had enough time to get into it, Oh wait, there's a security station for us to walk around. Okay. Um, but like, it sh this game has a very good way of showing how the play, how the character changes over time. Like right now, I'm a good little boy, doing what I'm told, and then like as it progresses, it just, he changes a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and like, if you don't want to hear what's up with the whole game and like the, how the story progresses and ends eventually, you can go ahead and uh, pause it for a second, I'm just gonna talk about it for a minute. Um, I'm waiting a couple seconds and alright, now I'm in a spoiler free zone, or in a spoiler heavy zone I should say, not spoiler free. It's a zone free of people that don't want to know what's up with spoilers though. Um, this whole storyline changes drastically as you play because right now you're a good little cop doing what you're told and then after some rather large volume of bullshit your character changes his ideals on how, what's being a good guy and what's being a bad guy and the lines get kind of blurred after he gets set up as a crooked cop. 
He's not crooked. This guy one has never been or ever will be crooked. But he gets set up by a couple people. A at the end of this episode, actually, you'll see it. There's still another motherfucker. There you go. Fucking hang on. I'll fuck you up. So. Sorry. Thanks to you, we're off the books. You're the only one I caught. But you still have the rest of me. Pretty sure you're guilty of collusion. Yeah, just get in the security. Nick is. Yolo Roboto! That's Nelson's store! He's got plenty of customers. Now, the odds of me doing any of this shit right here quiet are slim to none, so. Okay, but yeah, um, okay, we're not going to do spoilers anymore because whatever, but you'll see a lot of stuff at the end of this video that'll make a lot more sense. Way ahead of you, man. Oh, you stupid slut, they were up here with me. Another cutscene that I can't skip. And while this is going, I'm going to take a drink. Like I said, it's been a while since I, uh, since I recorded, so I'm getting rather parched. Let's bust this bitch open. It's it's thankful that this guy carries this uh, crowbar right up his asshole. Because if not, I would never be able to get anywhere. Man, that would be that would be tough. Okay, now if you're wanting to do this part right here stealthily, run this way. The glass here will shatter. And with that, everybody runs. Look at who's right there. So yeah, there you go. If you're planning to arrest this guy, this right here automatically gives you this one. As long as you take it from this angle, it's extremely quick and easy to get. I'm not showing you how to get all of them like this because I genuinely don't give a shit. I murdered him. Oh fuck man, then I got murdered. Um, yeah, coming into there with the uh, with the, s the sniper rifle is not a good thing. There. Okay, now I am gonna go ahead and say this video will probably end very shortly, which kind of sucks because that means the next video will be very very short. Here's a rather intense moment right here. Not that. See two guys? Yeah. You just sprint out there, they fuck you. 